Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Deal POV, and welcome back to another month of Boruto, the manga. Now, I want to start off with this overview with just mentioning that if you have seen the movie, the Boruto movie, then unfortunately enough, you are getting a retelling of this. Unfortunately enough, it's not the entire piece. Um, it's still partially there. It's not the, the Boruto movie is not concluded. We get another fifty pages of a partially retelling of the movie and I've heard that I've read in a couple of uh, different sources that apparently the creator of this new series he wants to add some stuff to the movie he wants to make some changes um, which makes me a little bit worried whether or not we're gonna get some retconning I hope not because I completely accepted the Boruto movie as um, as complete canon and I absolutely love it um, I loved its place in the Naruto universe, and if we are going to get some retcons, uh, I mean, I've gotten used to retcons in comic books, but in my manga, especially with this kind of series, I don't know. Regardless to say, that's pretty much where all my critique uh, kind of ends, because after reading this a second or third time, the chapter is actually quite decent. I've gotten used to the art style by now. Sasuke still looks a little bit weird. Sakura, a little bit off sometimes. But overall, absolutely fine with the art style. Now, the chapter itself, let me just get into it right away because there's not much to talk about if you've seen the movie already if you are a manga only reader and have not watched the movie then let me just go over these couple of things with you first of all the chapter starts off with boruto asking sasuke to become his apprentice um sasuke wants wants basically boruto to create a rasengan and then he'll see to which boruto goes to konohamaru his teacher um, an older konohamaru who looks a little bit off to his original form I'll shut up about it. Um, but he asked Konohamaru to teach him. Konohamaru really gets really excited because, of course, he gets he gets the honor of teaching the Rasengan to the grandson of the fourth Hokage and the uh, and the son of the current Hokage, which is a huge deal. Being the instructor, the one who gets to pass on that legendary technique. Bor um, Konohamaru goes through the same teaching methods as Jiraiya went to teach Naruto the Rasengan, which is start off with the water balloon, then start off with the rubber ball. And when when Boruto eventually goes to Sasuke, returns to Sasuke, and mentions and tries to show him the technique, Boruto ends up doing like this mini, like this tennis ball Rasengan almost. And because of Sasuke's rather dismissive look, Boruto... Boruto assumes that Sasuke doesn't want to be want, doesn't want him as an as, as his apprentice. He kind of says, "Wow, it's that it's kind of something in the lines of wow, it's, it's that's pretty small for us, Engan." So, long story short, Boruto meets up with this scientist who, in the previous chapter, was was responsible for giving Boruto like this this cheating device for his toy for his um, little gaming gear. He goes to the scientist, the scientist shows him this new device which was introduced in the Boruto movie and it's now been introduced to the series in the manga for the first time which is a device that worked with miniature scrolls and very similar to the Capsule Corp uh, pill, little capsules that they use in Dragon Ball very, very similar to that you pop, a ca you pop one of those mini scrolls and then you can perform the... There's a seal in the scroll that lets you perform any type of jutsu, which Boruto ends up using to create a more bigger size Rasengan. Sasuke accepts him as his, as his apprentice and basically they go into this little situation where him and Sasuke, Boruto and Sasuke start talking about about all kinds of things and one thing that Boruto asks them ask Sasuke because Sasuke was a good friend of of Naruto is what well, how was his father growing up and most importantly what are his weaknesses which and then I found this beautiful in the movie and I loved reading this here it, Sasuke replies with you shouldn't focus too much on 
on on who Naruto is right now, but you should focus on who he was growing up. Yeah, he was a fuck up, but he eventually he overcame his obstacles and he got to where he wanted to go in life. He became the Hokage of the village, a uh, very respectable and very powerful um, character in, in the whole Naruto universe. Which then leads on to transitions over to just Boruto running through the city, Sarada running through the city. They meet up with Mitsuki and they show their their signed papers confirming that they will be taking place in the Shunin exam. After that, we transition over to Killer B who has been trapped, um, A-tailed Hachibi, um, who has been trapped by these new villains that we get introduced earlier in the chapter. My apologies, I forgot to talk about that. Let me go into that quickly. Throughout the chapter, we get a little flashback of Sasuke talking to Naruto and him mentioning these two villains that he has encountered throughout his journey. Two villains that he tells Naruto are for, seem to be from the Otsutsuki clan, the same clan that Kaguya was, and they seem very wordy threats. So by the end of the chapter, we get these two same villains. They have trapped Killer B. Killer B tries to throw a, the eight B. The eight tails tries to shoot a um, tail beast bomb at them. He absorbs it and shoots it back at him. And that's and then the chapter kind of ends with the second member, the big strong one, telling um, telling the smaller one, who seems to be the leader among the two that he knows where a bigger source of chakra is, possibly the biggest source of chakra in the entire world, which leads us to Naruto. They will be going after Naruto next. I'm curious to see where, well, how they're going to adapt the movie further into this, man on, into this manga, because the film, the people who watch the movie know what's going to happen. The people who are reading the manga, I guess you're experiencing it for the first time. The only critique that I have, and it's actually a pretty big one, is the fact that we are getting this story retold, that the story is still not concluded, um, and that we could easily get another two months of this. So another two months waiting before we get a new plot. If they're going to retcon something, I guess it could create some interest in my opinion. Yet again, it could backfire, so... It's all about waiting and seeing where the series goes. That's pretty much where it comes down to with the overview. My name is the LPOV. If you like this overview of the chapter, please hit that like button down below. Comment down below what you thought about this chapter. Are you satisfied with the retelling of this Boruto movie? Um, it does bother me a bit, I'll be honest with you. What do you think that they are going to change seeing how we got we started off the series with Boruto and these new tattoo techniques um, and that new the new villain that we have never seen before how do you think they're kind of going to switch the story around to the point that we get to that place the end of the ninja era so to say <laughs> Regardless, I'm going to be doing this every month, um, every chapter that comes out, whether it's a retelling of the Boruto movie or not, I will be here and talking about it. So hit that subscribe button down below. If you like this overview, hit that like button down below. Comment down below what you thought about this. For the manga-only readers, please do not spoil anything or at least put spoiler tags in your comments if you want to talk about it. That's pretty much for it. Have a good week. My name is DLPOB and bye.